Presidents of the General Assembly, delegates all, participants and guests. One of the key St. Ed's Holy Cross values is grit, which kind of means the ability to deal with issues and problems as they arise in a calm and sensible manner. Thank you for being here today and for lending your time and your talent to this conference. Thank you for being a seeker of peace and justice. And thank you for your caring commitment to making this world a better place. The mission of the Cleveland Council on World Affairs is to inspire engagement in international affairs and world cultures through education, citizen diplomacy, and public dialogue. As all of us are aware, this mixture of hope and fear, the fabric of cultures and societies across the globe, has been growing increasingly complex. Simultaneously, cities are both raised and leveled around the world. Tensions between enemies cool, while those between allies ignite. Remember that resolutions are the final goal. Find the universal principles shared by many other nations and build on them. Allies and common ground are a resolution's best friend. It now gives me great pleasure to declare Cleveland International Model United Nations 2020 officially open. been in the the Munivus since my my first conference um, with the, in England which the equivalent would have been about uh, sixth grade um, so I've been to a good amount of conferences both here and in Europe um, for me it, it just gives me an outlet to kind of show my ideas and leadership in new and different ways so it's meant a lot for me throughout my educational career tell us about your best model UN experience I would probably say the best Model UN experience was actually here my freshman and sophomore year. Uh, my freshman year I'd been blown out of the water by some senior in the Security Council. Uh, following the next year I was alone by myself in DISEC with the biggest committee and actually won the gavel so it was kind of a stick in the face to that senior. I had grown so much in one year. methods that are designed specifically to reintegrate disabled people into society. It points to a better future for biodiversity and endangered species, but there are inherent problems in here that need to be fixed before we pass this. It is also important to the delegation of Yemen that the distinction is made between Islamic fundamentalism and Islam as is specified in Clause 5, Subclause A. How would the South Sudanese ambassador define the state of uh, your nation and the state of your people. The South Sudanese ambassador would most likely describe the state of the nation as in an ongoing crisis. Understand, however, that this document does have aspects that are entirely salvageable. What have been the best moments for you? I think seeing it all come together this weekend, all of the hard work and dedication from our teams and all of the delegates and how hard they're working to truly make a difference. How did you get your delegates, all first language Spanish speakers, to be so well prepared? I think it's a collective effort of the school and the English department at St. George's. And of course we have awesome delegates that um, they would like to do their research on their own and just improve. I think I will continue my Model UN career next year. I feel like a lot of environmental issues and a lot of um, political issues are very connected right now. And I feel like continuing my Model UN career can really make a difference. Give the best advice you might suggest for the incoming SGs. The very first thing you need to do is meet with whoever your Joint Secretary General is or the other Deputy Secretary Generals 
and get on the same page about what you want to accomplish at that conference. So it's also helpful to think about the events that are happening in the world at the time and what you expect the next year is going to look like. Stop in the name of the UN Charter.